Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So before we begin, if you like the content on this channel, then go ahead and hit that like button. And if you are not already a subscriber to the channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more videos. Now in this video, I will show you how to get the price of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Litecoin in real time. So I had a previous video similar to this one, but the free version of the API isn't working. So I'm creating this video to show another way to get the price of cryptocurrencies in real time. Now, currently I'm on Google's website. It's called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So you don't have to install Python onto your computer. All you have to do is go to this website and log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is click on file and then click on new notebook. And then a new tab will open up for you. And then eventually a new cell. So in this cell, I'm going to put a description about the program in comments. So I'm going to put this program gets the price of crypto currencies in real time. All right, next I'm going to create a new cell by clicking this code button in the top left. And in this cell, I'm going to import the libraries that I plan on using throughout the program. So from BS4, I'm going to import beautiful soup. Next, I'm going to import requests. And last but not least, I'm going to import time. And now I can run this cell by clicking this button here to the left. And this will tell me if I made any mistakes. So let's see. Okay, so everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and create a new cell. And in this cell, I'm going to get the URL that contains the price of the cryptocurrency. So I already have a Google search here. And I'm just going to magnify this a little bit. OK, so we can see that I've already searched for Bitcoin price in Google and it came back with this result. The price of one Bitcoin equals eighteen thousand three hundred ninety six point three zero United States dollars. OK, so I can just take this link here. Highlight it and copy it using control C, then go back to the program and create a variable called URL and set it equal to that string. Okay, so we can see that this query uses Q equals Bitcoin plus price. So that makes me think, well, one of this can work for Litecoin as well. So I did the same thing for Litecoin. I looked up Litecoin price and I'm going to highlight this URL and copy using control C. And when we look at this, we can see that one Litecoin equals 83.69 United States dollars. So I'm going to go back to the code and I'm going to paste this URL here. And what you may notice are some similarities. So the only difference here in this URL is that Litecoin is appended here and Bitcoin is appended there. All right. So this is useful information and it's going to help us to be able to get the price of different cryptocurrencies. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of. Well, I keep that there for now and I will put, um, for example. OK, so now I have the URL. Next, I want to make a request to the website. So I'm going to create a variable called HTML and set it equal to request dot get URL. OK, next I'm going to parse the HTML. So I'm going to create a variable called soup and set it equal to beautiful soup and give it the text from the HTML and give it a parser. So it's going to use the HTML parser. All right. And last but not least, I want to print soup 
to find where the text is that contains the price of the crypto currency. So let me just bring this on up. I'm gonna make this capitalize and make that suit. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and print soup. And actually, I'm going to print soup dot prettyfy. All right, so we're gonna prettyfy the soup. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. All right, and now we get back all of this information. So looking back at the Bitcoin price, we can see the price here and we can see it has United States dollar afterwards. So I'm going to go back to the code here and I'm gonna search for United States dollar because the price may have changed. So I'm just gonna type United, now there we go. So when I type United and you see States dollar here after searching for it using control F, I can see the text here that I want to scrape. And I can see that's within this div class and that's within this div class, which looks very similar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight it and copy the selection. And I'm going to exit this, all right. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new cell. And in this cell, I'm going to put what I just copied here in comments because I'm gonna need that information and let's go ahead and create a function to get the price of a cryptocurrency. So I'm gonna call this function get underscore crypto underscore price, and it's going to take in some coin, so like Litecoin or Bitcoin. And then I'm going to basically do everything that we did before, so I'm just gonna highlight pretty much all of this here and then copy it using control C and then come down to the function and paste it using control V. And then I'm going to highlight everything here and tab it over one. Okay, so that looks good. Now I'm gonna change just one thing here about the URL. So remember the difference between getting the Litecoin and the Bitcoin price was this string here, Litecoin and Bitcoin. So it's the name of the coin. So I'm going to just append the coin to the URL string and that should do it for us. So we should be able to get both Litecoin and Bitcoin um, price values using this string and other cryptocurrencies. Okay, so Let's go ahead and get the text. So I'm going to find the current price. So I'm gonna create a variable called text and set it equal to soup dot find. And I know that the text is within the div tag where the attributes equal class and the class name was, I have it up here. I'm just going to highlight all of this and copy it using control C and then come down here and paste it using control V. And then within that tag, we had the, the div tag with the same class name. So I'm just gonna put dot find the same thing. And then I'm going to get the text. So I'm gonna put dot text here, okay? So that should do it for us. And then I want to return the text. So just type return text. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this cell. And let's create a new cell. And in this cell, we're gonna test the function. So I want to get the price of a crypto currency. So I'm gonna create a variable called price and set it equal to get underscore crypto underscore price and they're going to input a coin name like litecoin and then i want to print it so i'm just going to print the price so print price so let's run this and here i can see that the price of litecoin is 86.99 united states dollar 
All right. So let's go ahead and put in Bitcoin here just to test the function properly. So I have Bitcoin here. Let's go ahead and run this. OK, and we can see that we get the price of Bitcoin, 18,404 United States dollars now. OK, so all of this looks good. Let's go ahead and create a new cell. And in this cell, I want to create a function a main function actually to consistently show the price of the cryptocurrency when it changes. All right, so let's call this function main. And I need to create a variable to know when the price has changed. So I'm going to create a variable called last underscore price and set it equal to negative one. So the price should never be negative one which is good. And then we're going to update this, this variable every time we get the price of whatever the coin is. Okay. So next I'm going to create a loop to continuously show the price. So while true, while true, I am going to choose the crypto currency that I want to get the price for and to do that I'm going to create a variable called crypto and set it equal to let's say Bitcoin for now and then I'm going to get the price of the crypto currency all right, so that's like what we did before. Just create a variable called price and set it equal to get underscore crypto underscore price and then input crypto. And I misspelled crypto up here, so let me go ahead and put an O. All right, next I want to check if the price changed. So let me bring this up and let's write that if statement. So if the price does not equal the last underscore price, then we can show that price. We can show the new current price. So I'm going to print crypto plus a space price and then colon and another space. And then I'm going to put the price. OK, and next I need to update the last price. So last underscore price is going to equal the current price. And then I'm going to give this a time to sleep. So I'm going to set sleep for three seconds. So it's going to suspend execution for three seconds. All right, so everything looks good. Let's run this and let's create a new cell and let's run slash execute the main function. OK, so I'm just going to type main and then let's run this. OK, so now we can see that we get back the Bitcoin price, which is currently at 18,365.80 United States dollars. So let's give it some time to update to a new price. OK, and we can see that the Price has been updated from 18,365.8 to 18,410 United States dollars. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop the execution. And then I want to change the crypto here to Litecoin. And let's run this. And let's run the main function. And now we can see Litecoin price is 87.92 United States dollar. So Thanks for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I want to give a special thanks to everyone supporting this channel on Patreon.com. If you want to support this channel on Patreon.com, I will leave a link in the description below. I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you in the next video.